All right, here's page four of section seven of chapter seven. Um, we're continuing the practice um, for purchasing stocks and bonds. And um, this looks like a little few questions about um, reading a stock listing. So I don't know if you can see that this is a, a Starbucks is listed on the NASDAQ. <clears throat> here's its clicker number. Um, well, let's see, what does it want to know? Current price of the stock is clearly um, 57.35 is the current price. Whenever you look at it, that's the latest update. And it usually tells you the time. What was it selling for when it opened? Um, right here is the open. So remember, the price of the stock when it says the price so when it opens somebody bought that stock for 5680 and then the most recent purchase was 5735 what were the highest and lowest values over the last year let's see so remember some of these depending on which stock exchange it is it might be on this side it might be on this side lowest and Prices over the last year, that's 52 week range. So $50 and 84 cents to 61.64 is the uh, range. Um, let's see, potential buyers. What are potential buyers willing to pay per share at this point? Um, so that's kind of the, um, the bid. Um, buyers are willing to pay. I am willing to pay. Um, is the bid is fifty seven twenty. Um, the ask, the people that are selling, uh, want people to pay fifty seven twenty eight. So a little bit of a. So this is the. Um, buyers. This is the sellers. Okay. Um, let's see. D. Starbucks pay dividends to do they pay dividends? Uh, where is the dividend and yield right there? So that's a yes. Um, if you had 200 shares, how much would you get? 200 times your um, 0.9 is 180 bucks. Um, how much, how many shares have been issued, like all together? How many shares have been issued um this one doesn't have it directly on there you have to get it from the market cap divided by the current price so 83.58 that's a billion over 5.735 um, that comes out to 1.457 billion shares. What is the ticker symbol on the stock exchange? It is SVUX. On which stock exchange it is the NASDAQ? As versus the New York, right? Uh, how much is the company worth? Um, that would be the market cap is 83.58 billion. Um, is the price expected to go down or up in the next year? So that's the first year target. Um, is 
64.56. So up. Is this stock considered to be highly volatile? Well, I put this one on here because it's a little tricky. I'd say yes if you're looking at the PE ratio because it's greater than 25. Remember, um, it's 29, 29.41. So remember what they said about that. Um, if it was over 25, it's either drastically overpriced <laughs> um, or um, expected to have a huge jump. So, I don't know. Sounds kind of risky. Um, but if you look at its beta, it's um, 0 0.62. And if you remember, I'm trying to get the exact wording, the beta number um, volatility is closer to one is um, stable as far as like the overall market. Lower numbers, even more stable. So I don't know. You could use that number and say no. Um, it's, there's a lot of things to look at. All right, face value of a $1,000 bond with a term of five years at a rate of 4.9% at maturity. So face value is the, um, let's get the definition so I say the right thing. It's, the, it's everything plus the interest. Um, sorry, let me get the wording. Face value is the ending value of the bond the original cost plus interest. All right. So, and they're figured, bonds are figured by simple interest. I equals PRT. So the interest would be the principal of a thousand. The 4.9 is that rate. And then it's for how many years? Five years. That is $245 for the interest. So it'd be 1000 plus 245 is 1245 um, paid at maturity, which is um, face value paid at maturity. Wait, let me move this up. Sorry. <clears throat> um, what is the profit if purchased for nine twenty five? Um, let's see. If you had twelve forty five and you're paying nine twenty five, that is three twenty profit. Um, what was the percent per year if bought two years after um, issued percent return? So that's 320. That's your, your gain, your profit. And you paid as your input, right? You paid that to get your percent times 100. Um but that's over three years. So if you divide that number by three, you get 11.53% return per year. Remember, a lot of things are measured per year return. Um, so that's a good way to keep it kind of apples to apples. So if your savings account's getting a quarter percent per year. This is 11% per year. This is good. Okay. 11% per year is a really good thing. Um, what is the face value of a $5,000 bond with a 10 years at a rate of seven? Okay. So still I equals PRT. 
I equals a $5,000 bond at this interest rate for 10 years. Um, and you paid 5,000 for it. So face value at maturity Seven thousand eight hundred and fifty, um, making your profit if it was purchased at four thousand um, Remember, it doesn't have to be purchased the minute it's issued, right? There's bonds sitting out there to, to be purchased. Um, what is its return rate uh, if bought 6.5 years after issued? So uh, take the profit divided by what you paid. but 10 years minus 6.5. What percent return, just double check, what percent return per year if bought after issued? So there was only 3.5 left. Only 7.5 return per year seems a really high I could have purchased at four thousand I may have to check that one it's a heck of a deal if it was the face value was a thousand five thousand plus interest, but you got it for 4,000. So, you know, it was a good deal. So that might be right. All right. And then the last page, um, I just wanted to mention briefly, um, there's no work to be done on it. It's kind of an informational page. Um, we've been doing a lot of the, um, calculations we're doing are, um, considered growth rate problems. And, um, the change over the original, right, is kind of what we've been doing. Percent increase is kind of like a growth um, models. But I thought this article is interesting about the Gordon growth model. Um, if you're very, 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 very serious about all this stuff, um, there is a group of stocks that are um, good for low risk. Um, so people that are maybe retired, don't want to be high risk things, um, or people that really just really want to put their money somewhere that they can kind of um, count on somewhat. It's not the same as putting it on your mattress, but your mattress, you get no interest. So that's not a good idea either. So you got to do something with it. Um, there is a group of stocks um, called the dividend aristocrats because they do pay very good dividends over years. In fact, this blue line um, is your S and P 500, um, amounts of interest and then the actually the orange one is the specific group of um, dividend aristocrat stocks so there are things that you can look into to see you know what other people's opinions are for good stocks to invest in um, if you're interested in learning how organizations and operations change over time there are many jobs for you to pursue so jobs with growth rates in them um, Accountant, financial advisor, chief executive officer, business owner, vice president of operations, marketing director, actuary, general manager, investment banking. Um, you could be a stockbroker, right? Financial clerks. Um, there's a good um, career link on here if you wanted to see that.